I did a video. It's coming up almost two years. More than 60,000 people have seen it. It's uh, called Cold Snap Hacks for Camping. And uh, what I did while I was out winter camping in Pennsylvania near the Appalachian Trail, just while I was lying in my tent, I thought of all the different ways that I could uh, stay warm if there was a sudden cold snap. And uh, I got nearly 900 likes and a lot of comments. I got 38 dislikes. Well, let's look at it. See, here's the uh, likes and the dislikes. And there I am in my sleeping bag. But it's interesting because this. I was trying to think what, why. So I read through the comments and one of the things I've learned is that one of my tips is go ahead and breathe into your sleeping bag to warm it up. Evidently that's taught, wait a minute, here's the general reaction to my to my videos. Everybody's so nice about it. And then you get the occasional troll. But this was different. Nobody was baiting me. They were being very polite about it. But just saying, hey look, you, it's all good info, but breathing into the sleeping bag is not a good idea. All you're doing is introducing a lot of moisture to your sleep system that in extreme cold will not evaporate. Thus we have a very negative effect of the bag's insulation. It's hard to resist because I'm a person that sleeps under covers, even at home, but it's a fact. So I wanted, I waited until the weather got really bad. It's uh, zero degrees outside. It has been for a while. And so, in the safety of my back porch, which also measures zero degrees because it's just screened in, I uh, decided to look into this. And that's what the video you're watching is about. The video that I mentioned at first with the cold snap hacks is, uh, I'll put up a link down below uh, in the information section of this video so you can watch that again if you like. But, I'm, we agree to disagree and not only that, everybody's so nice about it. Just, world survivalists do. Douglas Conlon and I look forward to it, buddy. And so, with respect that we do disagree and we can do that without shrieking at each other, I went out and tested this. Also, with the caveats that if it's less than zero degrees, that might make a huge difference. The type of sleeping bag might make a huge difference. I don't know. But I do know now what my experience was. So, let's roll the video. Hope you like it. And make a comment if you think I'm being dangerous advising people to breathe into their sleeping bag when they're cold uh, to warm it up because of the alleged danger of condensate inside your sleeping bag causing the sleeping bag to become soggy and therefore lose its insulation properties and then you freeze to death. So that's why I did it on the back porch. Wasn't going to have that happen. But what I also had happen, well, you watch the results. Thanks. So far, 62,000 people have clicked on my video, 10 cold weather hacks for camping. And somebody, uh, actually many people, have made the comment that you should never breathe into your sleeping bag, which was one of the things I said. Just go like this, breathe into your sleeping bag until you feel warmer. Also said that uh, you know when you were a kid hiding under the blankets, you, you would have to come up for air eventually. Your body will not let you forget that you need air, and you're not going to suffocate. It'll be evident you need air. Even if you fall asleep, you will wake up. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent. 
I'm pretty warm, but I'm going to start breathing inside of my sleeping bag because it's zero degrees. I want to do that for a while to see if I can get the sleeping bag to become soggy and dangerous. I don't know how I'm going to evaluate that, but maybe we'll see, like, in real cold weather, you know, ice will form around your beard and mustache. So maybe something like that will happen here. I don't know. We've got two hours worth of film and I can edit and speed up and whatever. So just bear with me. I'm going to chill. I want you to come have a look inside so that you'll know that I'm not, there's no frost, there's no dampness that is, that is accumulated. It really is a viable thing to breathe inside your sleeping bag when the temperatures are below, or at zero, I know that much. So we're at zero. Just because it's light. Not like the sun has warmed things up. I'll open them later, but hopefully we'll get a shot of where they are. Temperature wise. So, it's cold. And this did not result in a a frosty mess. It's not it's not frozen, it's not frosty, it's not wet. Not crusty like I was expecting. But you know, if there was truth to the rumor that breathing inside your sleeping bag is gonna make you freeze to death or give you a soggy sleeping bag, we would have been able to find that out, don't you think? I 
and I kind of like to think for myself rather than have some some other person who camps a lot tell me what I'm in for what the pitfalls are I just I don't see it I'm sorry I think we checked it out pretty good gave it a good shot I would imagine that if this theory is true this would be soggy this would be frozen with ice crystals nothing it's dry and it's still warm so I think we learned something <laughs> I believe so thanks for watching <laughs>